So, what is this VoIP or VOIP about? The term VoIP stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. It is a very broad term, but basically means voice that travels using the same protocols that internet uses. Like with web, VoIP sends and receives packages to send and receive data, and is typically used to connect phones and any other media devices. VoIP, although typically is being used for sending audio, it can be also uh, be used to send uh, video. In the VoIP world, the session initiation protocol or SIP um, is the primary signaling protocol. SIP basically is a standard to communicate between devices. Devices will be sending text with different parameters that will let other devices or peers know about the new communication. They will know about how the communication will happen and when. Here we have an example of a session initiation protocol communication. In this scenario, Alice completes a call with Bob. Each communication represents a SIP message like an invite, a ringing, uh, an acknowledge, an OK, or a bye. In, and in this case, Bob and Alice would be sending SIP-based messages between them. For example, Alice is sending a SIP invite to Bob at the beginning. An invite typically means the initiation of a call, with, uh, which Bob will respond back sending a 180 OK and then that will mean that the, the phone is ringing at the other end. After that, once the communication is successful, um, Bob will uh, send back a 200 OK and we, they will be able to establish a two-way RTP media. Once Bob wants to finish the call, he will press hang up and this hang up will trigger a bye message to Alice. Then Alice will also disconnect and once successfully disconnected from the call, will send back a 200 OK and the call will be ended. So how does a session initiation protocol look in the real world? Real world C-based peer-to-peer communication can look like this one. Although we are seeing telephones in the edges, those devices can be mobile phones or laptops too. Those devices, in this case, have the extensions 2002 and 1001, and those extensions can be configured uh, in the uh, SIP servers that we will explain a little bit later. All these uh, devices, uh, in this case the phones, would be SIP user agents. A user agent or UA will act on behalf of a user to establish connections and establish sessions with other SIP user agents. Another important element here is the SIP server. Like happens with websites, we need a SIP server or a server to send and receive information. We will deploy a SIP server and the SIP user agents will be connecting there. And in this SIP server, we will be able to configure these extensions. In this example, we have two SIP servers that are connected and the flow of the call would be as follows. First, SIP, a SIP invite would be sent by 2002 to its SIP server and forwarded from the SIP server 1 to the SIP server 2 and reach finally 1001. Later, the receiver server will respond with a trying automatically and then will respond with a ringing once 1001 started ringing. Then 1001 would send back a 200 OK once the invite has been processed 
and the request was successful. Once the 200 OK is sent back to 2002, the two-way media would be established. 